Did you know that YouTube now recommends uploading a video as unlisted? In this video, I'm going to show you how to upload your videos on YouTube for 2019, 2020 and beyond using the new beta upload process. Hello, my name is Herman Dross. If you want to grow your audience on YouTube and generate traffic, leads and sales on autopilot, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification icon to be notified about future videos. Here are the steps to upload your video on YouTube using your desktop computer. Make sure you're logged in to YouTube channel, click on YouTube Studio Beta, click the camera icon that says create a video or post, click upload video beta. It says welcome to the new upload beta experience. It includes an improved step-by-step -step flow and additional guidance. You click close, click select file, I'm going to select how to live stream on YouTube mobile. While it's uploading, I can enter the title, the description, and thumbnail. So I've already got my title in there. Let's add a description. Discover how to live stream on YouTube mobile from your iPhone or Android device. Select custom thumbnail. I'm gonna select this one for now. Click open. I can also go to advanced settings. I can add the video to a playlist. I can add cards. Here I can add a card. I can add a video playlist. I can add a channel. I can add a poll or I can add a link if my website has been approved. I can also add tags. Add a tag, for instance, how to live stream on YouTube. I can select category, select how to style, recording dates. You don't really need to set a recording date, but you can if you want. You can just select the date that you're currently uploading. So I'm going to do 13th. Additional settings, enable age restriction, leave that blank. Check allow embedding. Check publish to the subscriptions feed and allow notifications to subscribe. If it's a sponsored video, check this video contains paid promotions such as paid product placement, sponsorships or endorsement. If you want to add an end screen, just click end screen. So I can use a template, I can import from video, I can enter a URL in there and I can also add elements. I can add a video playlist, I can add a subscribe button. Can add another channel. If my channel was enabled for adding a website, I could add a website link. Language, it's gonna be English. Video location, you don't really have to add a location. Licensing rights, so I would select the standard YouTube license. Just make sure you don't check Creative Commons. Comments and ratings, allow comments, allow all comments, comments held for review. So I'm gonna allow all comments and click next. I can select my visibility settings can be public, can be set as a premiere. That means that you invite fans to co-watch and chat about the latest video release. Private, only you and the users you choose can see your video, or you can schedule it as public. If you want to schedule it for like next week, then I can set the time for a date and time next week. Here's an important note from YouTube to get your publishing date right. When you make a video public on YouTube, the published on date on the watch page is based on Pacific Standard Time. If you want to make a video public with a specific date on the watch page, make sure that your video is uploaded or scheduled to go public for that date in Pacific Standard Time. You may see a different publishing date on the watch page than the one you see in your video manager if you upload a public video in a time zone ahead of PST. Schedule a private video to go public at a specific time in a time zone ahead of PST. So just make sure that your scheduled video goes public for that date in Pacific Standard Time. I know it's kind of confusing because I live on the East Coast, which conforms to Eastern Standard Time. I check unlisted, which YouTube recommends. It means only people with a link can see the video. It also help to check for monetization issues before your video goes public. After you've checked the visibility settings, just click done. You can now share the link from your video on social media sites. Click close. Now you can see the video listed at the top of the videos tab. If you want the video to go public, just click the drop down. You can set it as a premiere where you invite fans to co-watch and chat about your latest video, or you can make it private and schedule it as public. I don't want the video to go public now, so I'm just gonna leave it as unlisted. So I highly recommend choosing unlisted before your video goes public. This will enable you to get all the settings right before you actually go public. Let me ask you a question. What visibility setting do you typically choose when uploading a new video? Do you select public, private, or unlisted? Post your answer in the comments below. I'd love to read them and I'm sure others would too. But Herman, what if I don't want to write a new description for every new video I upload? Do you have a solution for that? I'm glad you asked. You can just use the upload default settings for your channel. Just click on YouTube Studio Beta, bottom left of your page, click settings. Make sure you select YouTube Studio Beta, click upload defaults, paste in your description. 
keep in mind that you can edit the description for any individual video you upload. Typically I just edit the first few lines that describes the content of my individual video. After you've added your default description, you can also choose the default visibility settings. Just click the drop down, select public, private or unlisted. In this case, I'm going to select unlisted. Click save. Now every time you upload a new video, the description will already be there. What if you want to upload a video to YouTube from your phone? Is that the same process? I'm glad you asked. Just watch my next video on how to upload a video to YouTube using your phone. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.